In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to get perfect layers in only three sections. Let's get started. So for the sectioning on this cut, I separate everything at the division point. So you can see that line right there uh, separates front and back. And then I go straight down the center, uh, separating right and left. And we start on our left side. So I'm just working horizontal sections across the head. And then you can see the angle that I'm showing you guys with the comb. What that's gonna do is cut the shortest point uh, in the very front fringe area. And then it's gonna get longer towards the back. So we just shift our finger angle slightly also to mimic the head shape. So understand that the head shape uh, right at the forehead kind of moves its way forward so we're trying to counterbalance that um, I don't want to create extra length in the front to explain that a little bit further, look at the curve of the head. If I were to cut that flat on top, what would happen is it would create extra length in the front, it would be shortest in the center, uh, and then towards the apex, it would get shorter and shorter. Uh, what I want to do is I want to create length towards the apex and also create a shorter length in the front, uh, utilizing the head shape. So I uh, hope that makes sense to you guys. That's one of the biggest takeaways from this haircut uh, right there. So we finish our left hand side. You can see how the descent happens. Uh, pretty gradual and then gets really extreme as the head shape starts to curve away so we'll cut into that a little bit later now we're gonna do the same thing on the right hand side mimicking the exact same finger angle and elevation and then we'll move into the back so now as we move into the back, we're gonna be working straight vertical sections from the center back all the way to behind the ear. And we're gonna bring everything straight back. We're also gonna be using concave layering. If you're wondering what concave layering is, you'll see my elbow kind of hike up into the air. Uh, what that's doing is creating the shortest point at the tip of my finger and then the longest point in the interior of my finger. Uh, that just gives us a, a nice shorter uh, amount of layering, but also preserves a lot of length. So you're gonna get volume and lightness in the high uh, Higher crown area and then towards the nape you get that fullness um, so if you're looking and you have a client that's looking to keep weight keep length in the back this is a great way to create seamless layers extra layers extra volume but also preserve weight and length so I told you guys this haircut was gonna be simple and there you go, that's the haircut. Let me know in the comments below if you like this haircut, if you feel like you can use it. Um, if you made it this far in the video, type made it in the chat. And if you're looking for some new professional haircutting tools, go check out our FSE Elite and Pro Series scissors. Use the code FSE20 at checkout. You'll get 20% off your entire order of over $100. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.